All right, everybody, I am back with a brand new DC update. And just so you know, I took the weekend off and I stayed away from every computer in my house. I just took a weekend off to spend time with my family and just chill out for the weekend. And so I am finally back and I do have three videos coming today. The first is going to be my DC update. I will also be doing a review on the reboot of Frasier and you guys aren't going to want to miss that review. And I also have my TV show and movie update coming as well, which will have an update in regards to the strike that is still ongoing in Hollywood. So you're going to want to check that out if you want all the details on what's going on with the strike currently. But let's get into this DC update. Looks like uh, we caught uh, James Gunn again uh, not being truthful with some of his comments. And we're going to take a look at what I mean by that. But we have a few things to look at here today. So let's get started. All right, so the first photo I have for you is coming from Variety and a guy named Jeff Bach. He uh, he's he believes, okay, he's it's it well what they say here is that a box office analyst, uh, Jeff Bach, believes that Aquaman sequel could still make waves at the box office, which I do not think is the case. But he said everybody's down at DC, but there is a chance especially with the limited competition during the holiday season that Aquaman could still play like gangbusters because of lack of product. Sometimes the right film at the right time is all you need. He is right about that, and I really don't know what else is coming out during this holiday season, but a lot of people do go to the movies during the Christmas you know, season, uh, during the holiday season, especially right around Christmas when this is getting released. I personally do not. That's when I'm least likely to go to the movies. But a lot of people do go during those times. You know, they get together with family. They spend time going to the movies. Uh, it's kind of like the summer, uh, but it's not as big as the summer. And there is a possibility he could be right at that, but I just don't think anybody cares about DC at this stage. I think people are just through with it. I showed that poll that was taken a few weeks ago, and people just have lost interest because of the way the studios have handled these products. Now, this is something that was floating around over the last week as well, that Channing Tatum could be the new Hal Jordan in the DCU. And they asked the question, could you see Channing Tatum as Green Lantern's Hal Jordan? No, I do not. Okay, I don't see him as Hal Jordan. I think he's too big. Uh, Hal Jordan was never like this huge muscular dude and I don't see him as that character at all you know he might come off as cocky sometimes but I don't see him as Hal Jordan I just don't see it I think he'd make a, a much better Guy Gardner than he would a Hal Jordan so this also came out that Jason Momoa is reportedly cast like it's almost a done deal as Lobo in James Gunn's DC Universe they asked the question do you think he's a good fit for Lobo and I, I've already given my thoughts on this. I do think he's a better he's a better fit for Lobo than he ever was Aquaman. Although I really did like Aquaman the movie, and I think he did great in the role. I just don't like it being turned into a comedy. Uh, so I'm not looking forward to the second film. Although I will tell you, I don't remember where I was. Oh, it was during uh, the ball game. You know, my Diamondbacks have made it to the uh, last leg of the. The playoffs, and if they make it through this next seven-game series, they will make it to the, uh, you know, to the the World Series. And during the last, uh, the NLCS, um, there was a there was a commercial for Aquaman, and it looked way better than the trailer that they released. And so, uh, you know, I'm still interested, and in, and you know, that made me more interested than the trailer did. The trailer came off as a comedy. But we'll see what actually gets released in December. Now, I thought this post, this made me laugh out loud. Someone said, congratulations to Batgirl for being Warner Brothers' most profitable DC film of 2023. <laughs> this, this really did crack me up, guys, because this movie never got released. They took a tax write-off and actually saved money, whereas all of the films that they've released have lost money for the studio. There has not been a profit made. 
And so this has been their most profitable film of 2023. It's funny, but it's not funny at the same time. Uh, I loved this photo. Another bit of news came out that James Gunn has been spotted in Norway with Superman Legacy VFX Supervisor, which has sparked fan speculation that they may be scouting filming locations for the Fortress of Solitude. And so there are supposedly, I didn't click the link to go see the photos, but he has been smot, spotted in Norway. They are doing everything they can with the actor strike still continuing. They're doing everything they can to get moving on this. We also know that um, Corn Sweat is out there buffing up uh, for the character. And so we're going we're gonna to see where this all lands. I still don't know who's investing in this company right now, but hey, it is what it is. Now, I thought this was fitting. It says Ben Affleck will receive the inaugural visionary icon and creator tribute at the Gotham Awards. Uh, there was exclusive by Variety.com. And yes, there's nothing more fitting. He made a fantastic Batman. Uh, probably, uh, well, not probably. He was the best Batman that has ever been on film. And I am very much uh, hoping that we will get to see him as Batman in the future. But we shall see. It sucks that he was going to be back full time and... Warner Brothers decided to go in a completely different direction. Now, here's the big piece of news that I wanted to bring to you guys today. And this is one of the latest updates in regards to Warner Brothers Discovery and James Gunn. It says, Warner Brothers limits James Gunn's full authority over the new DCU. And what this means is the, the report came out this weekend, and it is true. So I am not making this up. People can't come after me for this information. It is a fact. Now, before I talk about what they're limiting him on, if you remember, he came out when he took over as the, the you know, co-CEO and said that they will not be able to uh, mess with his vision. You know, he talked about how the previous regime, including Zack Snyder and all the actors, were basically uh, screwed over by the studio and people, you know, doing different things. And he goes, that will not happen with his DCU because he is the DCU. He is the CEO and the buck stops with him. Um, yeah, well, with that said, uh, that's not true because the whole TV division, he does not have autonomy over the TV division. In fact, they came out and said that they are having to rein back his ability to have full control over everything because the, the TV division wants to have control over what gets put out on TV in regards to the DCU, meaning the DCU projects, not a lot of the stuff that's being farmed out to these other streaming networks, but what they are actually going to be doing in regards to the DCU. So the buck does not necessarily stop with James Gunn. There, there is oversight, and he will not be able to just do exactly what he wants. So again, he has made comments in the past that are not true. I don't know how many times I have to tell people this. You cannot believe what James Gunn says. What he says and what actually happens are two completely different things. And I don't know what it's going to take for people to finally realize this. But that's just what's happening. All right, so let's wrap this up. I do have something I want to talk about. All right, so there's the DC news so far uh, that has come out since my last DC update. Now, I, what I'm doing currently as I am going through Batman the Animated Series again. And let me know if you guys would like me to do a an episode-by-episode episode review of Batman the Animated Series. It's one of my favorite Batman projects that has ever been created. And I just started watching. I've watched a couple of episodes. I, I think I've watched three episodes over this weekend. And if you guys are interested in me doing a more in-depth review on those, let me know and I can kind of hold off and talk about, you know, favorite quotes from the episodes, my favorite scenes. There's lots of things I could do with that if you guys are interested. If they would get watched, I would be inclined to probably spend the time to put those videos together if people are going to watch them. Uh, just let me know if you guys are interested in something like that. But uh, what's funny is I also had this crazy dream uh, just last night. I, I laughed when I, woke up. I, when I woke up this morning. I told my wife about this dream. I had a dream last night that I was hired as the director for a brand new Batman film. And the film happened to be the Hush storyline told as stop motion animation in the same vein as something like uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. And that we were getting all the voice actors back 
and it was going to be uh, interesting. It was in the planning stages. Uh, so I had this dream that I was going to be the director of that. It was kind of funny. I woke up and I just got Batman the Animated Series on the brain right now. But uh, I do appreciate all of the support. I just hit my three-year mark here on YouTube, and I appreciate all the support that's got me up to this stage. I am going to be doing lots of content coming up in the future. You're going to want to stick to my channel if you haven't already. Like the video, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you will be notified as I have new videos go up. We will see you on the next video.